Hello everybody. This is going to be the test for the two tube GI6B, which is, uh, in case you guys don't know, it's the same tube as a GI7B or a GI7BT or a GI6BT or they're all the same tube, you know, just so you know. Um, we have plate voltage meter on top, plate current meter at the bottom. Since you have to have the filament on, you have to have this box has a warm up time of about three minutes. Um, some data sheets say two minutes, but I just say let it warm up for three minutes. You have three switches. You have the first one puts the filament on and a cooling fan. Second switch after three minutes, apply your high voltage. And then this is your AM standby switch, transmit receive LED, goes green on receive and red on transmit. Tune and load. The box does have a tuned input. It's a fixed tuned input like my other amplifiers. It's the output cooling vents on the top. This one's for the power supply side and these two are right over the tubes. It has pressurized air from the bottom. On the back you have a fan that just cools the power supply. Ground connection, AC power cord, circuit breaker, in and out. Now we're going to show you the drive we're going to be using. Let's put the driver on. It's just a single final radio with a one pill. This is a 250 watt slug. So we're looking at the top scale. Five is 50. This line over here is 25 watts. Um, you know, that's 100, 150, 200, etc. So It's like 15 watts carrier, something like that. Audio, one, 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 audio. So like 125, 130 watts, somewhere in that neighborhood is all you need. You can even go up to 150, but somewhere between 100 watts, audio, and 150 is the right place to drive this box. Now I'm going to put the box on and let it warm up, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It's been about three minutes and the uh, amplifier is warmed up. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to put the high voltage on. It has a step start. So we're idling at about 2100 volts, somewhere in that neighborhood. We're going to put the box into AM. Let's take a look at the meter. Actually, if you can look inside and look at the tubes. Power supply side. So we're looking at the top scale. This is a 25, oops, 2500 watt slug. PEP is on. <clears throat> top scale, so the first line over here is about 250 watts. 50 is 500. That's 1000. That's 1500. You want to key the amplifier somewhere between 2 and 300 watts. I mean, really, it's up to you. And uh, you should see anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 watts PEP. The box has been loaded out already. So that's a 250 watt carrier. Audio. One, 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 one. Audio. So the amplifier is doing about, I don't know, 1,300 to 1,500 watts. Audio. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Audio. Audio, 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 audio. Looking at your plate current meter. Audio. 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 So that's 400 or 500 milliampers. Now, let's put this thing on average. Everybody always wants to see the average numbers. Still looking at the top scale. Audio. Audio, I don't know, 400, 450. Now you can drive this just a little harder. I wouldn't advise it, but really this is the correct operating environment. Somewhere between 1,000 watts and 1,500 watts max PEP. I wouldn't run the box any harder than this. Um, these are great little tubes, pretty easy to service. 
pretty cheap on eBay. I've got a 750 milliamper continuous service transformer in this box. Audio, audio. And this box is gonna run great for a long time. One, 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 audio. I'm still on the key. Let's put BEP back on. Audio, one, 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 audio. 1500 watts BEP from two little seven Bs. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye, bye.